Please start fresh. Dinner for the goal is pretty good here, huh? What's up, Dino? How you doing? I'm so relaxed at the moment. Oh boy. Hmm. Getting those Chris Rocket League losses. That's the best thing to do in the morning, huh? I feel that. Surely one of these question marks is going to be removal. Surely we're going to have some form of removal. I can guarantee it. I'm money by guarantee. Head bet. Head bet. Head bet. Sure. Mm. You know, there, be, there should be some stats, I think. And the stats should involve the likelihood that somebody wants to pass a card if it's offered. If it's offered on the first floor. So this funeral pain could be insurance for triple century net. Maybe I can go for three elites. Yeah, sure, just fine. I'm curious though, like What's it likely that somebody passes a card directly on floor one? I guess it depends on the situation and how bad the card is. Okay, I'm clear extension six, let's go! Pog. Pog, pog, pog. Perfection strike just to get some damage. Just to get some front loaded smackaroos. That's not my favorite card. Not my favorite choice. An early dead branch? Why the fuck not, right? It's one of those runs. It'd be one of those runs. Question is, with this early dead branch that I purchased with my money, my dollar ruse, and had to give up Immolate, unfortunately, because Immolate's great, right? Immolate on sale, super grip, massive AoE, destroys this rest of this act. We gave it up for an early dead branch, which I'm gonna assume is gonna be worth it. And we can get a Havoc to go along with it. Havoc and head dead branch, it's a decent combo, yeah? You're actively getting rid of cards in your deck, which operates with Funeral Pain. In getting random cards, so you're basically replacing your deck one card at a time. I'm down. Question is, do we do this early elite with this, or do we go for the upgrade city? An upgrade versus a relic. Well, how likely are we to do this? Like, Gremlin, does Gremlin Nav destroy us? Answer is no. Hmm, it's gonna hurt actually. But this saves us with headbutt. Headbutt is the ticket to win it. And just like that, we got it. Ginger impervious. Oh my lord. And when it starts coming, it don't stop coming. I want to do elite, so I kind of want to save my life. I'm almost kind of willing to just give up this gold, go for a rest, and then do two elites. So I can keep my life total fully active. Seems pretty good. Seems ultra tungsten rod. Okay. Well, this is looking good. Huh, that's a little unlucky. My friends. A little unlucky that I did such a thing. I can get a free bash. Absolutely monstrous. Huge. What's up, Cryome? 
And just like that is gone, like an angel's kiss. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's up, Arthur? Armaments here? Armaments, my friends and lads. Let me get some caffeine, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Yeah, so we're not gonna get a second headbutt. That's because the existing headbutt that we have is probably only there good for bring Havoc back and bring Perfected Strike back. Um, so we're not getting a second one. We're, I'm happy with the one that I have. I think Armaments Plus has some decent value, but at the same time... Hmm... I mean, getting more skills is always gonna be good if Corruption is something we're looking for down the line, which... You know, no... Expectations, but I mean, we got Deference pretty early, so... Then we could get Armin's Plus to do things like Havoc Plus during a fight when you draw it. I mean, I don't have an upgrade right away, but you know, I, I think this card is fine. Alright. Bro. What do we got? Uppercut. Okay, let's go. Begin. Hmm. Or not. How did it go, Cryom? Awesome. How was that? Put that back on top, my friend. I'll get to use you next turn. What do you what'd you stream, Cryom? I guess Bash was better for more vulnerable, huh? But Lethal like nobody's business. Ori Kalkum is a hell of a beast. And then we had Emulate. Absolutely big bonkers. Let's go. Kind of test stream, just had a good iron clever. Nice. Stream is a great little thing to get into. I, you know, I kind of regret doing that because I had... Yeah, whoopsies. Oh, whoopsies. Man, this deck is a booty slapper already. Metallicize, I'm down. Down with the Oricalc Metallicize blockage. I do not like... I don't want to drop back into this. Ooh. Oof. That's either good or bad. Ah, uh, my inventory is bad. Ooh. I can't even play some of these good cards. It's not be harder the first time around. Uh, I lied. Never mind. We are totally fine. All right, just like that's over. End up with a lot of value cards. I'm surprised I won. Yeah, sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes you're just getting good value cards in the Ironclad, and all of a sudden, you won the run. Let me fix something. Sometimes it happens. That means you probably made some good choices. Dual wield has targets for perfected strike. Dual wield, Sneko. I imagine here it comes. Duel is a curse at the moment. I mean, but again, if you get Duel with Perfected Strike for Snake White, it's a booty slapper, for sure. Also, there is the world where you can Duel with Metallicize or Final Pain to get more powers in some world that is far away, that perhaps has more of at hand, and is not near this world at the moment. But that's a world that exists. I'm down. Cause when I'm in, when I'm in this world of Dead Branch, and got some strong start, the next best thing for me to do is start fantasizing for the ultimate win conditions that are actually sort of attainable. Did I just justify having a curse in my deck? Just a little bit. Just a tad bit of justification of a curse. What's up, Mr. Cheebs? Uh, I'll play. I'll get down to the Watcher soon. Yeah, we'll get there. I am currently starting off Ironclad, feeling strong. Now I have a question. Double Havoc for the early Dead Branch. Do we care about what Havoc hits? Or are we just trying to Havoc at all times of the day? Which makes Armaments Plus a little bit better because it can hit a Havoc times two. Which means it's a free card plus all the other value it gets. Which means that you play Havoc for zero, get Dead Branch, and then that turn is absolutely amazing. Is this creative? Seems like it. I'm gonna do it. My goal was to be creative here. Because I want to bring the creativity back to Spire. Uh, I'm just talking shit, but let's see. 
here's a case here's a good example here's a good example okay there was my example <laughs> big example huh so now I can dictate what Havoc hits, right? So if I want to get Bash out of my deck, well, say goodbye to Bash. So be it. Goodbye. Or, we can get rid of a Burn, which is a little bit lamer. Or, we do Dual Wheel for free on Perfected Strike and just have those in our deck. I'll prove you wrong, baby girl. I got you. We want to get rid of bats. Probably not. Oh, actually, I don't need it. I don't need it. I like. I like bludgeon better. Thank you for sure, Kimbrock. Hi, welcome to Shuriken Proc. My name is... My name is Strength. Hi, Shockwave. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I don't need to. There's nothing within me that tells me I need to do this. Yeah, I'm doing it anyways. Why not? Absolutely not a necessity. Good evening, Ludo. Ludo, Ludo. So we can bring block. I'm down with that. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I guess we see what Havoc hits. Where's that Fleen Bearer? Huh. Kind of just what, what else I can draw here, but uh, I'll just do this. Got him. That's a Dark Embrace. Double Metallicize. Oof. Looking great. Value Town. I guess I have lethal, but I'll, I'll dally here. Dilly dally just a little bit. Save life. That's what you call on my stream? <laughs> What's up, Parallax? Okay, so we got the earliest, the earliest dead branch. Yeah, I was checking it out, Ludo. I was checking it out. We got the early, early dead branch, and we didn't get corruption offered as a boss reward. I was hoping that the rare corruption would show up here, but it didn't. Uh, that's fine. Reaper's not bad. It's just good AoE healing, good card. Dragonite can give us more damage. Because we're getting a lot of block out of Funeral Pain. Exhaust mechanics with Havoc, right? So there's a world where you're playing Juggernauts and then doing Havoc, Havoc, Final Pain, Shenanigans, Orichalcum procs, Metallicized procs. Damage is chaotic and everywhere. And that's okay, but not my favorite strat. I once had a six card deck with vulnerability and the card that gives you energy. Ah, yes, Dropkick. That's how, that's how I won the, um, or attempted to win the five card challenge. I ended up with Serene Blow being superior. I, I just chuckled, Parallax. I chuckled. What's up, man? Dragon I wasn't in the back consideration. Let's go ahead and hmm. Can no longer rest or oh, the curse key. Then this is here. Oh, did you see that video, Mr. Chiefs? <laughs> then this is here, Asylum. What's up, Smithers, your boy? I don't mind coffee dripper. You guys are shivering and quivering. The man took coffee dripper. It's okay. Let's plan out. 
Three leads, two leads, three leads, two leads, three leads, two leads. Let's go. Smithers with the resub continuing from Jazzbot. Thank you, man. Welcome back. I did it about myself. I had about 600 hours. I enjoyed what to play. Anchor to watch from Kiddos. Awesome, man. Yeah, because it's single player, so you're not glued to it like you would be League of Legends or something. Yeah, I'm glad. It's a great game. What's up, Sir Gridham? Oh, there goes my Perfected Strike. That's a little sad. Oopsies. Fusion Hammer waiting room, by the way. I'll be honest. I don't think my strategy of Chaotic Havocs was the best. Are we going to continue on? Absolutely. Am I in doubt? 100%. I think he ended at six. Oh my god. Now there is a path in front of me. And this path can take me many which ways. We have Perfected Strike. We got Havoc and Dual World number two. Now we can keep on with the Havoc shenanigans. The ultimate chaotic dead branch initiator. Or be like, okay, I have two. That's probably enough. I do that so I can count the cards easier. I can turn it off if it's bothering you. I only do it sometimes where I need to count cards easier. I do a cheeky little, you know, key bind for the uh, attack. Swain. I used to... Yes, I did. So I used to play Swain. So back in like, Season 7 or whatever, before they made the Swain rework, I became a Swain one trick. And I, like, grinded him to, like, Diamond 4. And this was uh, before they made the rework, and then... This was like all preseason, so like I didn't get an official rank, it was like a preseason rank. But it was at that point where I realized... Give me a sec. I realized like the grind was such a unbearable thing. It's crazy. Like you get way too invested. Also, it's so much better. By the way, I had lethal. If I um, if I didn't reaper, I chose to reaper. So I give up. I give up life for a reaper. Which was stupid, that's actually really stupid because I could have just got ahead but destroyed him for gold. I value gold here more. I value my gold here more. Damn, it's unfortunate. So I like Cleave for AoE. We would have emulate though, right? And so second one could be the crazy difference initiator, but battle turns is just much better. One of my least favorite reworks. Well, I've gotten to kind of like the new Swain more recently. I started playing him a little bit in Arums and stuff like that. I, I mean, I like the new Swain as well, but the old Swain was, you know, it's a classic. Trugit's a great upgrade. Trugit is a great upgrade for what I'm doing with this deck. Hmm. A second final pain and remove a strike. If I remove a strike, then we're starting to get out of Perfected Strike shenanigans. And I guess that's not a bad thing. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to remove the shame. Seems like a much better removal target. Oh, what could this be? We have health for it. One, two, Pikachu, Necronomicon, Achu. So, that means my Perfected Strike is a big booty clapper. My Immolate, it's a cheek divider. So we're just booty blasting everywhere. So we're just... Man, we're on booty barrage right now. So I think what we should do is probably do four elites. Why stop at upgrading shop... Three elites, I can do four elites starting with the sparkle. Ambitious, probably. But tell me we don't just double smackaroo the slavers. Gremlin leader is pretty good with this as well. Reaper is also a consideration. Um, we're just having this manageable. We have Dex Pie if we need it. It's a booty barrage stream. Welcome. Pick your booty panana. Who's it going to be? Sparkle is a little scary because I think Rook is stabbing. Sparkle is the hardest and definitely gonna hurt my life total just a little bit, which makes the less elites, makes the later leads even harder. So, like, think about it. There's no campfire between these. If this was like a kind of a hard fight, and then I'm forced to do these two elites, or I mean, I guess I could skip one. 
Um, we do have Reaper that could be doubled potentially, but still kind of crazy. Sugar doesn't even thin the deck. I know, it just activates that branch and just gives you block at the same time. Ah, can we choose a card at any time? Uh, no. Yeah, two least two upgrades, but no. I like the three elites. I don't mind that. But I was thinking maybe I don't want to do... Sparkle into three elites. A little crazy. Let's see. Man, look at that book. The book's stomper. I guess I can try to maximize the heal. Arms was actually superior there because it's seen red. So that was a big mistake, but the effect's already over, so let's just win. Jesus Christ. Okay, when 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 that happens, you're kinda like give me four elites. I'm like scared of anything. You call that the you call that uh debated by the hallway fight, so we call that. Welcome to getting debated by to a hallway fight. Ah, this is so much better. Oh boy, check this out. You guys thought this you thought that was good? You thought that was good? Ch check this out for size. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that just happened. Three perfect strikes in one turn. Yep. Wanna see healing? I got healing, baby, don't you worry. Oh my god. We're an animal right now. Oh my god, we got lethal next turn. Wow. Look at this lethal. Jeez. Lizard tail, I'll take it. Feed. Oh, maybe. Baby. Yes. Please. Alright, fun things are happening. Burning Fact is good too, though. Dark Embrace makes things, everything even crazier. Jesus, Fiendfire is nuts. Man, I think we start moving strikes here. But at the same time, Discovery, Dead Branch, Corruption, Enabler, Finder, No Rise. That's what it is. It's the one card, No Rise. I mean, I guess we're playing six certain outs. Like, do we get the strikes are still? We still don't want to draw into the strikes. Like, we're still gonna have bad draws. Still gotta respect that, right? Bad draws are still a thing. So we still remove strikes because we don't want to draw into those cards. Even though discovery is probably creative booty slapper dead brancher. You gotta be grounded in reality a little bit. You gotta balance all things. Well, I want to see something very annoying that I think is actually optimal. Do a the strike and three strikes on the gremlin so that he doesn't attack me. I mean, worst case scenario, if he attacks me, I actually don't mind. Uh, let me think. So I'm thinking just three, three, three strikes here. Step the debuff, also make him less likely to attack. I can buy more time to set up. Or I could just do dual wield on my powers. So it's a little more setup-y, but we, we're probably going to get attacked right now. But the thing is, I got Ginger, so I can't get weakened. So Emily's still really good. Um, I'll take damage here. I mean, Reaper, I can't really utilize at the moment. It's not a very good turn two. We always have Reaper to come back, so totally fine. Shuriken, hello. Armaments right here would be really good. With Havoc. Nice, got a headbutt. I want to go for lethal. Well, what if I want to go for Reaper instead to heal? Because I can't heal for this fight. So I'm going to try to... Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I was going to say some prioritize to heal. Uh, I have lethal next turn. Hmm. I think we just take the lethal next turn. Well, we, could, we could slow play it and still do Reaper. And then also get a feed. Could, I could slow play it. Should I still play it? Still play. 
This, this helps though. That helps to find things like Reaper and feed. And I don't take any damage for it. I'm talking about Lucky. Alright. Reaper here. Damn. I guess it was worth waiting because like look, if we get to Reaper feed now, that'd be absolutely perfect. Reaper full heal. It was worth waiting. Looks like it, nice. Second feed, double feed shenanigans? Or does the man like the bludgeon necronomicon? What's up, Mike? How you doing, Mike? Does the man like the necro bludgeon? Or is that out of bounds meme territory? It is so far gone, they should call me Sally. Double feed is also a meme. What is going on with these options? This is crazy. I can't be the only one looking at this. I guess bludgeon. We already have big booty slappers as it is though. It's like we have the perfected and emulate doing similar concepts with the Necronomicon. I think double feed I mean double feed is always dead branch at the end of the day. And <laughs> Okay, double feed, double feed, double feed. I'm seriously considering this. It's m it's second opportunity. Get my XHP. How can you turn that down? Good job, Dano. You're in, you're you are um, enabling the worst kinds of ideas. But keep going. Hey, Amen. Fend a big, big, big. Emulate, please. Emulate, please. Clash. It's gonna, it's gonna be useful, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. There's emulate. Man, but here's the problem. I wanna feed, so here's what I'm here's what I'm hoping for. You ready? Should I have it for feed or not take the risk? There's two fucking feeds. Let's just draw the cards. Jeremy, put the gun down. Do not touch havoc. Thank you. There it is. There she blows. Charon's ashes, okay. Now if this is not a dead branch exhaust deck, then I don't know what is. Well, second battle trance in the 27 card deck. It's actually top card. Sentinel would be inter okay, double battle trance. This is fine. Would we'll make the deck a little bit thicker too. Family friendly stream, by the way. Oh, I want to upgrade one of the feeds. But, okay, what's the best upgrade here? Jesus. True Grit, I guess, so it's more playable. Final Pain's a great upgrade. Emulate's a great upgrade. Feed is a great upgrade. Jesus. These upgrades are out of control. Double Feed, Double Reaper here? Yeah. Yes. I can do this. Or I could do this and be a little chaotic. Let's do this. Chaotic. Mm. I could do a little strike to get an extra strike for Pennib, right? And make Perfected Strike bigger. So that's just huge brain. Now Perfected Strike is pen nibbed and bigger. Okay, kind of small brain. Or this is damage up the ass. And now we look for feed. Because I know it's there. I know it's there. I got two of them. There it is. I'm doing it again for more Charon's Ashes. There it is. You gotta be absolutely taking the piss. Alright. Big pair. Matt. Ooh, huge. Let's go. Shrug it off. Remove our strikes and get bites. Well, that makes Perfect Strike worse. And then it also gets rid of my max HP, which I do have a lot of, but I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no thank you, vampire.
You're gonna get double feed. The crazy double feed. You ready? Oh my god, seeing red perfected strike. Oh my lord. Mama, there goes that man. And now we have potential for another feed, and we got free block of Ori Calcum. Double tap is feed city. I can take the healing. I don't even need it. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to try to... I guess I should do damage, right? Because... I want feed, so I need to make him more feedable. Bam. And this is prime time. Sometimes I take the bites, it's very situational. Sometimes the bites are situational. Where, you know, it's actually an upgrade with Molten Egg, or you're kind of already losing a lot of life, and you have a lot of strikes left in your deck, so it's just like a gen generally good thing to take. Let me just say this. Yum. Evolve. Twin Striker, Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge has the uncanny ability to be tempting in its dazed exhaust. Dead branch, funeral pain, temptations, but also be a zero cost dead draw when I see it. Now, evolve is just okay because we do have emulate. I think it's an okay power to play or have in general for the future. And I'm just taking generally decent value cards because this deck is kind of well, it's powerful but also RNG ish. So I think we're double perfect strike after this, are we? Like, I feel like I'm done with this after I'm done with doing that. Although it was kind of a really big pen nibber, and now I have Immolate to do the same thing. There it is. Like clockwork. Now, I'm kind of more interested in doing Funeral Pain Havoc here. Or just like playing Funeral Pain Metalysis, but this is also a decent block. The only thing Havoc does right now is... Potentially moves to strike and gives me Shuriken, which is probably useful. But the fight's almost over, so let's do this. Hold this is great. I could do this. Just get the range stuff. Shuriken. Nice. So we already moved perfect strikes, so moving strikes doesn't feel bad. Double. Damn. I mean, we're pretty healthy. Hi. Depend on that because emulate's already lethal. We do have another feed in the deck, right? So let's try to get double feed. Oh, matter of fact, I'll do you one better. Not only did I feed, I reaped. Oh, impervious. Oh, smurf me. Yes. I think I want to take offering as well. Nah, I'm pervious. I guess brutality took is interesting as well, but nah, I'm pervious. Yeah, we call this the intuition run. Runic Dome. Molten. Not molten, but uh, Black Blood and Runic Cube. Interesting. I guess I could just take the Bosch for like upgrade. I could just take more sustain. But we're kind of not. <laughs> okay, that just. Thank God you got into that game. Hmm. I mean, more energy is always nice. I could do dome here. More energy is always nice. I mean, I got a lot of max nice HP. I have lizard tail. I know most of the intentions. I have turns like double emulate to stop for AOE fights. That's that doesn't require. That doesn't require me to think at all. Tungsten rock. Whenever you lose HP, you lose one less. So like. Double emulate for AoE fights. I don't have to think about that at all. I don't need to know what they're doing. I just play that. Five energy is nice because we get a lot of extra cards from Dead Branch. Only thing that sucks with the dome is 
couple of fights, but Rithy Mass is one of them. The Rithy Mass is sucky. And also, this Awakened one, because knowing when he multi-hits is important. So we're just going full Intuition. Remember, this is Intuition Supreme. So I further my Intuition run by also doing Runic Dome. And there's a lot of upgrades I would like. So I think I want to practice campfires here. You got Late Shop. I'm totally fine with that. Late Shop I prefer here. And I, I want to get campfires because I do want to upgrade. Before anything, um, I want to upgrade the Funeral Pain. And I, I, if, if only that, that's fine. Big slaps. Big brain intuition. Intuition is out of control. I want to get feed, so I, you know, maybe shouldn't kill here. But this is good because feed about to be a thing. Oh, Charon's ashes. Eh, we'll talk about that another time. So Palmer Strike is a good card draw. I'll take it. I mean, closing for the weekend is really important as well. Don't get me wrong, that was in a consideration. I want to see if maybe hits emulate instead. Look, brain, big brain, look kind of small. Oh, oh, I had armaments. Whoopsies. All right, now we gotta just maximize the other one. That was a big oofer. Oh, big oofer. I like this. Not like this. No, no, he's dead. No, not like this. Oof, I could have played this one much better. What's up, Kite? How you doing? Clothesline? I guess for the weekend, but like, damn, dude. I don't really want to take a clothesline here. I'm going to want weekend, but uh, I'm not going to do it just yet. Who's a strike? I can lose back to speed. That's fine. Shrug. Do I also hear the hearts beats rising? I'm actually seeing the corruption here. Damn. Corruption, where art thou? I mean, I don't need it. I d definitely don't need corruption. Sometimes Impervious is good first turn. I don't need two feeds, so I'll do that instead. Easy. Uh, this is a little annoying because... It's a little annoying. Jesus Christ. Somebody use Pendant, I don't care. Okay. Jesus, all my attacks are on this turn. You gotta be shysting me, dude. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go for the uh, Shuriken proc. But who? Ah, thou, because of you. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. There's bludgeon. That's what I need for lethal. Oh my god. Immolates. I don't want to add birds to my deck. Imagine adding birds to your deck. You got pen up yet again. Can we do it? Can we do the impossible? Got barricade. Too bad we're not going to use it. Bigger than like this. Oh, there's feed. Oh shit, this is probably a time to do flex pot, but I didn't know it's gonna get feed. I didn't know that. Alright, we'll get there, don't worry. 
This fight's just annoying. Ooh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Whether or not I'm going to be successful is another story. Thor top is better just to get the strength. More exhaust would be nice. Yeah. Oh god, how do I do this without... I figured it out. Alright, got max HP back. Red school, not that necessary. Spot weakness to give some strength scaling. I'll take it. Let's go. More smithing. Quara says otherwise. Oh, we're getting some debates. Debacles. Uh, what's the best upgrade here? What's up, Festive Best? How you doing? Let's go with value. Let's go is good value for the heart fight. Oh, it's not that bad. No, Reaper is not a good upgrade ever. We're gonna get corruption, don't worry. Says the man. A little bit worried. Each hot in Tron. Immolate. Immolate. Where are you? Uh oh. Reaper's gonna have to save me, boys. Who lives in a Reaper under the. Reaper, Reaper, there's always a Reaper to come back for me. Let me see something. No, no fucking way. You take that back right now. I mean, I guess I kind of expected that, but I was hoping that things would work out, you know? All right, fine. <sighs> no, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. Hey, oh, feed. It's not cookies, it's a chicken patty. See if I can draw feed here. It wouldn't matter anyways. Calipers, oh shit, exhume, oh shit. <laughs> well, okay. Yo, cat, Suranko, thank you for the Twitch Prime, I appreciate it. Welcome. Caliper is the big one, huh? That's a doozy. You're attacking me, sir. That's quite rude. Oh, disarm. Nice. It's going good, Octostar. How you doing, buddy? Oh, 
Alright, I want to get big damages, but I also want to get big crit. So I'm a little bit big scared. I mean, not big crit, but I mean like there's Reaper in the deck. So do we stall for Reaper here? There's Reaper in the deck. Nice relics indeed, yeah. We stall. But, I mean, the fight's getting dicey. He's trying to scale up. He's becoming a scary, mean boy. A good block this turn. I mean, I guess there's no harm in waiting for Reaper, right? See, he's scary, but not that scary. Now, please, let me hit Reaper. Please, young lad. There it is. I'm just a small town boy. Now I have full HP. I want to get feed too. I, my nose no bounds. My greed knows no bounds. Feed. Is offering worth it for the feed? Absolutely. Oh, we're so rewarded. It's unbelievable. Uh, what do you think about the uh, new character? I like the new character. It's very strong. Big fan. Um, I'm gonna skip. Can no longer heal. <laughs> <laughs> Ready your brother. No longer heal. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. I can't actually do that because I don't want to split him yet. But like. God, three amulets in one turn is hilarious. I don't want to split him yet. Oh, I should've got calipers. I couldn't even, I don't think. How many calipers here, though? Oh, and then we can, we can bring back the, uh... Emulate. Like a true boss. We get calipers and we get emulate back. And he's at the perfect amount for spl splitting. I know you guys are like crazy guys to me. Collective, collective orgasm. Like, I mean, like, imagine. 76 and then we do this. Incredible. At first, I could even get strength. Oh, yeah. Positively creamed. Now we just get feed and we win. And what's funny about this is I can get double feed. I don't want. I, want, I think there's a good amount of life because if I do any lower, then exhaust kills him. Any. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> this is totally fine. It's calculated. Alright, now we get second feed. Mmm. There's Exhum. Exhum exists. Exhum exists. But I want to upgrade one. How great is it? Upgrade one. Oh, there it is. Oh, we got Threaded Needle. My god, we are so strong. It's unbelievable. Don't need the Reaper on full life. Oh, I could have. I could have split, then feed, exhume feed. Oh my god, I should have done that. I should have. Oh, I should have maximized the shit out of that. Hey guys, we're fighting the elite, not elite. He's an elite, not an elite. <gasps> I need to bring Hebat back. Why can't you watch an after bit? I don't know. I need Hebat back.
Are you saying that you regret the decision and you got cursed? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Look at us go. Look at our strength. <gasps> and there it is. The beauty. The magnificent. The double corruption. Wait, I'm using all my corruption luck. Stop. I need this for the other fights. My corruption luck. I should stop right here. I don't want to ruin it. What if I get lethal? There's no way. Is she getting creative? Okay. Guess it's not. Okay. Oh, but intimidate is she getting creative? All right. That's she getting creative. Well, this is awkward because the second headbutt could be useful for the situation like we just saw, where we get corruption out of dead branch, right? So the second headbutt could bring that back. And the deck is getting kind of fat, and Dead Branch is bloating it at every turn. He didn't let me finish! Now, Intimidate is a wee weakening, which we are lacking at the moment, and it gives me a card draw with Dead Branch, so it's really good. And then Silent wants to pick in Flame against the Awakened one. Silent, I'm rebuking it. I'm an asshole. <gasps> we got champion belt. We don't need the weekend anymore. So this is my run. This is my run, right? This is my special place. You can sabotage the other runs. This is mine. I, I built this. This is my warm up of the day. We love toolbox. We love toolbox, but we like the champion belt. Yeah, we like the champion belt. I mean, do we though? Okay, do we like the champion belt? We only have Intimidate for Weekend, and Shockwave sometimes randomly pops up. And Intimidate belt just helps me get the Weekend and keep my calipers. I mean, it just seems... That's just the proactive play. Duplication pot, what is this consider? Like, so there's consideration for Toolbox. Let me explain. Toolbox, Duplication pot, card removal was also consideration, or another Reaper. But we don't need any of that stuff. Because we're going straight to Value Town. It's so expensive, I know, it is expensive, but like, I'm an expensive dude, you know? We're chilling here drinking expensive drinks. Hanging out at expensive places. I'm sucking crap, but... We have an interesting turn. I want to do a wheel feed. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see what we're going to do here. We have a lot of things we could do here. Let's get pen up stacks. Pen-up is nice and stacked. And what we're gonna do is... Feed time. I lied, I lied, I lied. Imagine getting rid of Flame Barrier. I know, but I have Exuma, right? So... Ah, uh, awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. So this is the problem with intentions. Just kidding. Perfect block. I'm intuition god. I wanted to feed on these guys, but at the same time... Be gone, thought. Be gone, thought. Funeral Pain's worth it. Um, we'll do it later. 
Wow, full block. Amazing. This is gonna hurt. Everybody buckle your cheeks. Yikes. Wow, the damage is... If I could kill you right now, I could do a mentalicize and the whole world's gonna rejoice. It's probably better just to play it once. Actually, we got offering. Butter the biscuits. We're doing more. Boom. Biscuits have been buttered. Jeremiah, what the fuck are you saying? Don't worry about it, son. That is actually a really bad turn. Uh, so let's just ignore this turn. Please and thank you. Alright, so we're gonna get Reaper. I want my life back, you son of a gun. Is it worth getting two more block here or just doing damage for Shuriken? Imagine a world we can feed. Oh my god, what a wonderful world that would be. I should just do damage. Ay ay ay. Look at the potential damages. I calibers. Calipers, we're building it. I call this my great big caliper wall. I'm gonna feed on Pennib, you are a Well, mid sentence. Sometimes it'd be like that. I'm gonna. Fatal Pain just wins this fight. Like, this is so free. Like, God, guys. But I would like, and I would appreciate. Oh, how glorious is that? All right, we're just gonna get like all the artifacts out of the way. And they're weakened. Oh my God, because we had champion belt. So I'm gonna zoom again. I wanna make sure they're really weakened. And now we're good to go. Yeah, Sensor 20, uh, logic step. This is how it be in Sensor 20. We don't fuck around. Oh, Entrench? You guys just want to do Entrench? We have Caliper, so like, I could just do this naked. We come back to Entrench, and then, oh my god, we got Barricade without needing Barricade! It's happening! I'm gonna feed on you, buddy. You ever tried Ascension? No worries, man. Ascension is, when you get there, it's great, big fun. You'll, you'll love it. You'll love it. Our pendant's ready. Feed, I'm gonna hope that you're gonna pop up. I never doubted you. And here they all were. He's not gonna show up. Oh, look at it now. The glorious. It's almost awkward. Beautiful. Look at me go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Bam. Nope, we're not done yet. There's another feed in here, right? I used a lot of them. Oh, I still have one left. We're not done with you yet. Weaken this heathen! 
and give me the strength. Feed, I need you. Min Max is calling. Oh, we're getting upgraded too. If all things go correctly, we're gonna upgrade this bad boy. Uh Nope. Charon's Ashes, don't you even think about it. Charon's Ashes, don't you even think about it. You gotta be sh shitting me. I'm getting rid of all my luck for the future. Armament, armament, armament. That's a good number though, right? Like 121 is a good number. And we got pent up nice and stacked. All things considered, cool run. Now, the worst thing, the worst feeling is going to be corruption in the shop. I can't buy it. But like we got lizard tail, we got calipers, so now that's just a really good upgrade. Battle turns is good too. But this is intuition, baby. We're not third feed. Seeing red, seeing red thoughts. Liquid memories or artifacts. Take the artifact. So what do you guys think? Would you rather me do uh, artifact for the strength pot or for the vulnerable? More for another potion. We'll see. Look at this turn. Hallelujah. Jedediah. Oh my goodness gracious. Don't you try to hurt me. Don't you try to hurt me. Don't you dare. Don't you even dare. Oh shit. And just like that, he kills one of the baddies. Next up, feed. Next up, feed. Ah, oh, it's not enough. I need something more. Don't hurt me. Reaper? Reaper for the life? There's an exhum. Give me the life. Bag of marbles. Okay. So, we've got Brutality. Let's see right now. Brutality is pretty good. If we can get it out early. Because Tungsten Rod doesn't affect me. And I just get more card draw. It's just, it's just good. But it's, it is blood in the deck. But it's, it is good stuff. Ah, so we can on this turn. Oof. So. Um, we could. Get 5 strength with flex pot. Or we can just stop the vulnerable. I mean, strength is good. We're gonna use Panda Baby. I'm gonna smack his ass. But, like, If I just stop the vulnerable, I take no damage and I can just win the fight so easily. Yeah, but like, I don't need to give him the satisfaction of hitting me. We have strength again. I don't know, like, I think we just stop the vulnerable, we take no damage. No, I take damage. I take damage. I'm never weakened. 
I don't want to prematurely proc pen uh, lizard tail. I mean, fire strength is good stuff to come by. But like, fine. No, I agree. Red skull is a thing too. I agree. Red skull is a thing. So I'm a, I'm a green. I'm an agreeer. I'm a fucking agreeer. I agree so goddamn hard. Yeah, okay, I agree. Double weaken? Ooh, baby. Oh my god, more strength. Should I just take it? Why not? Who should stop this mad rad madman? Who's gonna stop this madman? I got Reaper right now. Oh. Berserk? Fuck it, we'll do it live? Does my fear know no bounds? I know no bounds. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Say hello to my tongue singing rod. This guy's a wimp. We're no longer frail, guys, so have a look at this. Give me the immolates, that's gonna be the booty slapper. Reaper again, just for the healing? I don't know. I'd rather just get calipers. Bam bam. Bam bam. Damage cap. It's not fair to be so strong. It's not fair to be this wrong. I'm making songs as I go. Alright, cool, cool. GG. Let's try to feed on him. Oh, there it is. So far away, though. Fuck me. Corruption. Don't need two feeds. Seeing red. What do we got here? Oh, <gasps> pervious. You know what I really need right now? Wait, <laughs> brutality, get the hell out of here. First off, what I really need right now is a demon form. Right, let's just try to end the fight though. Okay, fight's over. So, oh, god damn. That was double tap as well. Well. Shuriken procs. Who needs even from when I out shuriken procs? Alright, so feed. I need to headbutt it back. We got a lizard tail, by the way. I could actually unironically block this. Should I just end the fight or do we want to disrespect? Let me know now. So sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I want to show you guys that Ironclad is... Look, let's be, let's be honest. We got Debrink's first shot. What are we talking? Talking all that shit. I mean, I can't really disrespect it. I mean, I can't disrespect it, yes. No disrespect, dude. Yes, yes, yes. I come here to disrespect you, sir. Pay no mind. I think I just killed him because of the... I... You know what? That's just, that is disrespectful though, right? That's kind of disrespectful, in a way. We won't talk about that. We won't talk about that. <clears throat> okay. Well, first run out of the way. Cheeky hour run, nice and fun. It's disrespectful that I had the opportunity, so much strength to disrespect him, and I didn't disrespect him. That's the ultimate disrespect. Look at all this power. Stomp. You're supposed to gloat. 